Hi scientists, today for science, you're going to need your science notebook, glue stick, a pencil, a highlighter, and your yellow science resource folder that is in your anchor binder. When you get your yellow folder, remember not to take it out of your anchor binder, but go ahead and open it. You are going to grab the one paper that is called the flower structure. It says pages 10 and 11. Then close your yellow folder, make sure it's still in your anchor binder and tuck that back in your basket. Then take your science notebook and we're going to open up to last week's pages. We had our My Science Foldable and Structure and My Scientist Assignment. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the pages And we're going to put the next pages as page nine and page 10. Then turn back to the table of contents. And then you're going to be placing on page nine and page 10, we have two different um, titles today. So the first is going to be plant vocabulary slash parts of a plant and that is going to be on 91-20 and then page 10 is going to be our flower structure picture. and it's on 91-20. So once you're done, go ahead and turn back to where page nine and 10 were gonna be placed. On the left side, we're gonna start by putting plant vocabulary. And we're going to be doing some writing, so you need to make sure that your pencil is nice and sharp that you're ready to do some definitions. Um, and then just make sure that uh, you pause the video if you need to along the way. So we're going to list some vocabulary words. So when we list, we wanna make sure that we're organized so we can come back to this another day. So for number one, we're going to use the word fertilization. And then when we define new words, we always underline them and then put a dash to show that we're about to define it. And fertilization is the process that happens when a sperm joins an egg period. So we're going to be discussing um, how plants are um, formed and created. So we need to know some of this key vocabulary when this is discussed the next couple weeks. The next word is maturity. And this is the stage in a plant's life. cycle when it has grown enough to reproduce. So as you are rec um, recording the vocabulary and the definitions, make sure that you are underlining the vocabulary words, and then you're neatly writing the sentence for the definition and making sure each um, word is numbered to the side. Our third one is a seed. When an egg within A pistol, and that's going to be shown to you in a moment when we talk about the flower structure, is fertilized 
a seed forms. Number four is cycle. And this is all of the stages. A plant goes through as it develops number five is pollination it's when pollen falls on a flower's pistol. Then we have number six is germination. And this is the process of a small root and stem beginning to grow out of a seed. Then we have number seven, which is pollen. And this is, it contains the male sex cells and seeds forming plants. Then we have number eight is the word cone. And this is the structure pine trees and spruce trees use to reproduce and then our last vocabulary word number nine is the a spore is a cell that can grow a new plant when conditions are right. So remember, as you're writing your new vocabulary for this particular unit on plants, and plant reproduction, make sure you've included all nine words with the correct definition. Now we're going to, at the top of the page, give ourselves a diagram of the parts of a plant. So this should be a review of what you've done in third grade. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit. And you're going to draw where the soil is, and then we're going to draw some squiggly lines showing this part of the plant that we'll talk about in just a minute. And then we're going to draw the remaining parts of the plants. And remember, you don't have to be an artist, it's just drawing a quick sketch to be able to give some labels. Okay, so we're gonna do the parts of a plant. So we're gonna put off to the side parts of a plant. So we're going to start by labeling what we drew at the bottom below the soil. And these are the roots. We're going to draw from that side 
We're going to say that is called the stem. We are going to draw an arrow to say these are the leaves or a leaf because we're pointing to one. We're going to draw ourselves a quick sketch to say that this is our flower. Sometimes our flowers or our um, plants have fruit on them, so we're going to draw ourselves um, maybe some sort of fruit on the side. I'm going to put the arrow to say that's a fruit. I drew an apple, could be an orange, could be a tomato, depending on what kind of plant you have. So for the parts of this um, plant that we're drawing in a quick sketch are a flower, leaf, fruit, stem, and roots. When we go to the next side, we're going to be looking at our flower structure. So this is where you're going to be able to use your crayons to be able to add some more color um, to make this more of a creative side. So we're going to take our um, crayons to quickly add some color to make it more of a creative side. So for the pistols, um, where the pollen are going to go, I'm going to color that yellow. So it's on the inside of my flower. And when we talk about the pistol, when we look off to the left side, it gives us more of the actual terms that are within. So within our pistol, the top part is our stigma. We have this bottom portion, which is our ovaries, and it says there are eggs within the ovary that will help um, with the reproduction um, of our flowers. When we look to the right, it gives us a little bit more information. So it says, if it's a female where fertilization and pollination takes place, the sticky part of the pistil that grabs the pollen and where fertilization takes place is where the seed is formed and it combines with the pollen to make the seed. At the top, we have our petals of our flower and this is where we're gonna add some color for it to represent our flower. And this is what attracts our animals and insects to help with the pollination and the reproduction. So it also protects flowers when it's a bud, so when it's first forming. So we're going to get out of color. You can take whatever color you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and take a pink. Just quickly um, go ahead and shade in the petals. Once you have finished coloring the petals, you can go ahead to the bottom portion. Um, this is also where we're going to mention some more of the reproduction parts of our flower. So this particular part is the stamen, and this is where our pollen is actually stuck to the top. So it's the male structure of the flower. So the top portion of the stamen is where it produces the pollen, and then it combines with the egg from the ovary to make the seed, and this is where that yellow and powdery come in. This bottom portion of the plant, we're going to go ahead and find a green to shade in as well. So once you're done coloring in your flower structure, we're going to cut it in a way that it'll help pop out from our page to make it a little bit um, three-dimensional. So I'm gonna start by folding my paper where the colored side's out. Using my scissors, I'm gonna just take a little snip to start the cutting of the top of one of the petals. Once I've given myself enough room, I'm gonna use my scissors to continue cutting around just to cut around the flower petals. And you can kind of maneuver it. Just be careful that you're not cutting anything else. So I'm not going to cut where there's not a solid line. So then I go back to the top and I continue around the other direction. This is going to ensure that our picture stays attached to the information that we need. Once you're done with the top section, you're going to go down to the bottom. So once again, I'm gonna to have to fold it slightly just to give myself a starting place. 
and then I can unfold it and continue and I'm just going to cut the rest of that portion out. I'm doing the same thing to the opposite side, just holding it slightly to get a little um, part started and then maneuvering my paper around. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and continue cutting down the base by the leaves and the stem just slightly. And if your cutting is not perfect, that is quite all right. It's just to show that you're detaching it slightly from the page. This particular part, if it's loose, you can go ahead and cut that part off. Just be careful you don't cut off your leaf. You can see my leaf is still there. Keep on cutting. Remember, this is when you can also pause your video so you can finish your cutting job and then you can get back to where Mrs. Ling is. So we're almost done. Remember, don't cut where there's not a solid line. So our flower is still attached by the ends of the side petals and at the bottom of the stem, okay? Now I'm going to place this on my page by flipping my notebook a little bit to the side just to make it a little easier. And then I'm going to be able to glue this down and I'm going to actually fold it over just slightly. So if you look at the top where I had my original fold, I'm going to just fold it over slightly just to give myself a little bit of an area where it's going to pop off the page. And you can see that my hand can fit underneath there. So when I shut my notebook, it'll just be squished down. And then when I open it back up, it'll pop up. So once I've done a little fold, turn my paper over, use my glue stick. I'm going to put enough glue stick on the corners. Don't put any on the back of the flower because then it won't um, stick up the way you want it to. Once you're done, you can go ahead and put it back on your page. And there you go. There's your flower structure in its 3D effect.